Hi there. My name is Tim Cornish. I'm reporting from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's November 2014, and this is an English as a Second Language lesson. Insulin and its discovery. Heroes are people who are admired and respected for the deeds they perform. In wartime, heroes are often people who display courage and bravery in the face of danger. Star athletes who excel in their field become heroes to sports fans, young and old. Political leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. often inspire hero worship by standing up for their beliefs and speaking out against injustice and inequality. Often, even the most unlikely person can become a hero. This is usually a person who unselfishly dedicates his or her life to helping others. For millions of people suffering from the effects of diabetes, the greatest hero of all was a Canadian doctor named Sir Frederick Grant Banting. Dr. Banting is best remembered as the man who discovered insulin, an important hormone used in the treatment of diabetes. The discovery made him a wealthy man, and in 1923, he was awarded the Nobel Prize. But despite the fame and fortune insulin brought him, Banting's greatest reward was knowing his work helped save the lives of millions of people around the world. Born on November 14, 1891 in Alliston, Ontario, Frederick Banting had the same interests as any other Canadian boy growing up on a farm. However, his fascination with medicine was shaped by two important events that occurred early in his childhood. Banting once saw a man suffer serious injuries in a fall from a roof and was impressed by the way doctors on the scene worked to save the man's life. A few years later, several young friends of Banting's died of diabetes. The deaths affected him so much that Banting decided to study medicine in order to help save lives. In 1910, Banting was accepted as a medical student at Toronto's Victoria College. In 1916, he had become a fully qualified doctor and later served as a lieutenant in the Canadian Army Medical Corps. After the war, he opened up a private practice in London, Ontario. He also began teaching first-year students at the local university. It was during a lecture on the pancreas that Banting once again became interested in the study of diabetes. In May 1921, he got a temporary research assignment at the University of Toronto to study the disease. Working in a small laboratory with an unpaid assistant, Banting began conducting tests on the pancreas using lab animals. After several months of research, Banting discovered a substance in the pancreas called isletin that seemed to work in treating diabetes. After renaming it insulin, Banting publicly announced his discovery. News quickly spread around the world that a treatment had been developed for diabetes. For the first time in history, diabetics had hopes of living a longer life. Tragically, Sir Frederick Banting died in a plane crash in 1941 while on his way to a medical mission in London. But for the 1.5 million Canadians suffering, currently suffering from diabetes, Dr. Banting remains a hero for dedicating his life to helping others and for the discovery of insulin. Thank you for listening.